Hey guys, it's Matt here, back again with the top apps of November for 2017. The first app up is called Navbar Animations. This one was actually sent to me from someone on Instagram. They actually told me about this app, and I actually was really impressed by it. So that's why I put it in my video. It's really cool, you just turn it on at the top, and basically it puts an overlay on your nav bar when you click the home button. So it does this little animation, and there's a lot to choose from. The basic ones are included for free, and the rest are premium. However, personally, I actually really like the basic ones. They have more of a Google theme, whereas the other ones, they tend to be a little bit more fun. But they do have some really cool ones, and it actually really does help spice up your phone. It just adds a little bit more to it, and overall, I think it looks great. In the settings, you can choose one of the animation plays, whether you click the home button, or the back button, or the menu button, and you can also choose the color of the overlay as well so if there's a white one and you have a white navigation bar you can simply go ahead and change the color so that it's more visible for example like this the app up next is called material notification shade and this is the one I'm using right now on my phone so it looks like that I've got the nougat version set up it does have an Oreo version which makes it like a complete white out but personally I just don't really like it I think it just doesn't really stand out that much and overall I just prefer the nougat one so I tend to keep that on but you can also change the notification color so if you want it black white or colored you can go ahead and do that but overall it's really really smooth it works from boot you can enable it to automatically start you can set custom colors and you can pretty much change all the little details about it so I really do like it definitely think it's worth checking out you can change your grid rows and you can also set a profile picture at the top and you can change your brightness slider position you can hide your notification content and stuff like that the next app up is called Theme Galaxy. This one blows my mind a little bit. It's a little bit tricky to set up, but basically it allows you to theme your own phone. So it allows you to create your own themes and then it will put them into the theme section of your phone and you can go ahead and apply that. So you can change a lot of things. You can change all your main colors. You can change your status bar colors, your accent colors, your keyboard colors, uh, third party apps as well. So you can go into Facebook and make that red or green or whatever you like. And then you select which apps you wanna enable the theme for. You can name it include a wallpaper and also an icon pack as well so you can apply an icon pack of your choice to your home launcher. And then all you do is you hit build and then go into your settings and if you click on wallpapers and themes and go into the theme section, it should be there. So I've got three because I've created three. It will say that you have to buy it or like get a free trial, but just apply the free trial, it will work forever. Up next is X out of 10. This one's just a little bit of fun, but it gives you the little bump from the new iPhone 10, and it's actually pretty cool. It's not something functional or anything like that, but I think it's definitely just cool to show off to your friends and things like that. It's just a little bit of a joke. I think it's very good. You wouldn't actually use your phone with this bar at the top, but it's just something to like show off and just for a little bit of fun. But you can go ahead and change the dimensions of it as well if you want to, and also you can donate to the developer if you're really nice. Up next is Floating Tube. So Android Oreo has this new pop-out window mode and it works when you view videos in your browser. This app allows anyone to do that, even on Nougat devices. So basically you search a YouTube video up, you hit the pop-out mode and it will actually create a pop-out video. You can go ahead and resize it, reposition it and you can also go ahead and change the resolution. So I've got it set to 720p right now. But you can go ahead and use your device how you would and just watch videos at the same time. So it's pretty cool. In the settings, you can choose whether to use an external video player, you can change your formatting, and you can also change the gestures and the default resolution. Up next is a really nice minimal browser, it's a Firefox Focus. Now I know Chrome is like the biggest browser ever and everyone loves it, but this is just something a little bit different and also a little bit more private. So this is a full screen browser, so you don't have the nav bar at the bottom like in Chrome or the search bar at the top. It's very simple to use, it looks very clean, and you also have things that blocks ads and pop-ups and stuff like that, and you can enable a bunch of add-ons in the settings. But one of the main things about this app is you can simply go ahead and click the trash can in the bottom right hand corner and it will completely erase everything you've just been looking at. So it's really private. Okay, the next app up is called Google Wallpapers. Most of you probably have heard of this, but if you haven't, it's an excellent wallpaper app. It's Google's own. They have some really high quality wallpapers, some great shots, and a lot of different categories to choose from, and it can really spice up your device and make it look a whole lot better. Now, the ones I've been using are live wallpapers. I'm not too sure if it's included in the APK you download from the Play Store. When I did it, it wasn't, so I had to download a separate file, and that sort of added it into the wallpaper app. So I will leave the file link down below as well, just in case. But it's a really cool app. I really love these live wallpapers, and I love the little subtle movements in them. They're just really, really good. Up next is Files Go. This is basically Google's take on something kind of like all-in-one toolbox, but not quite as complicated as that. So basically, it will show you things like app caches, which you can remove because it's not used, and you can simply select that, delete it, and it will give you some more space on your device. It will also show you Snapchat media or media you don't use. It will show you unused apps, large files on your device, and it will also allow you to move stuff to your SD card pretty easily. 
Something really cool is built in is you can actually go ahead and send and receive files without internet, so that's pretty cool if you want to transfer things between friends. And also, if you go ahead and look at your files, we'll actually categorize them into the app that created it, which is pretty cool. Anyway, it's just something a little bit new, thought it was worth checking out, so go ahead and take a look. Now up next is an app called Another Widget. This app basically recreates the new Google Pixels widget on your home screen. You can customize it a little bit, so you can change the text size, the color, the widget font, whether it has text shadow, you can enable a clock on it as well, change your background, your weather provider, and also choose whether it's in Celsius, Fahrenheit, stuff like that. So there's a lot of options, but basically it looks like this. It's very simple. If you click on the weather, it will go to your weather app and it will show you what the weather is. And then if you click on the date, it will open up the calendar. Now you can change this, Definitely worth checking out though. And the last app up on my list is called New iPhone Wallpapers. So a lot of people have been interested in the new wallpapers, specifically on the iPhone 10 or on the iPhone 8. And they absolutely do look great. I have one on my lock screen, which is really, really nice. These plant ones are super crisp and they look absolutely amazing on my phone screen. Something about the Infinity display on the S8, it just looks insane. And I would definitely recommend checking them out. There's some really cool wallpapers and honestly, it's been a little bit hard to find them because I've been searching them up and I haven't really found any high quality good ones online. So it's really good having this app. You can go ahead and download the wallpapers. You can share them, save them, or just set them straight up in the app. Anyway, guys, that's pretty much it. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. And thanks so much for watching. Peace out.